Welcome PSY 309 students. This is my week 15 commentary as we've now reached the last week of the semester. Uh, the priorities are the same. Uh, one is to achieve successful endings for as many students as possible. Uh, and number two is to focus on uh, this week's theme. Uh, and in this case, it's an important theme that's not included uh, in our course text. And frankly, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm interested in the omission because it's such a large one. Um, which is to say, please uh, look at the six or so links that are in this week's folder. Uh, and I want you to consider uh, such issues as humor and aging, uh, the pleasures of aging, uh, the erotic life of aging, um, and the relationship between aging, uh, humor, and wisdom. So I think there's a, a rich constellation of resources uh, for us to consider successful aging. You'll remember that we looked at the chapter 14 at the beginning of the semester, and now we're coming full circle to think perhaps more deeply about what uh, successful aging and the meaningful life is really about. Uh, two vocabulary terms, which I hope if you don't already know, you'll add to your vocabulary. Uh, one you probably have is hedonism, which is just simply looking at the issues of pleasure. But the other one is eudaimonia, which is the, the good life, uh, as opposed to simply the pleasurable life. This is a, a comparison that dates back to Aristotle uh, centuries ago. So it's a classic uh, topic for us to consider, uh, particularly in the context of middle and late adulthood. OK, um, a reminder, if you have any ideas about needing an extension, you must uh, not only email me, but you must negotiate a plan of completion in writing prior to the last day of the semester. So that takes some communications, some uh, collaboration, and, and cannot be left to just the last minute. So again, if you have any idea that you might need an extension, start the email conversation now, uh, draft a proposal with all of your missing work and your deadlines and so forth, and let's uh, get that conversation to happen. Uh, with respect to uh, winding up the course, for you it ends this semester or this week. Uh, for me, it will go on for two weeks uh, further. My usual practice uh, is to see that all grades, all grading is done, all grades are submitted, uh, and everything's pretty much wrapped up uh, by two weeks uh, beyond the last day of the semester. Sometimes I do better than that. Uh, this. This semester is pretty complicated because of what we're trying to do. Um, but I will at least uh, have all of the grades in Blackboard probably 10 days after the semester ends. I'll give you a day or two to look at them and ask questions. And then I'll transfer them over to uh, Main Street. OK, uh, I, we will send all of your work back to you. Uh, with the exception of electronic documents, there's no need to send those back. If you want additional feedback on your final paper, uh, again, reach out to me individually, and I'll certainly provide that. I don't do that routinely, simply because it's a lot of work for both of us. Um, I think those are the most uh, common topics as far as um, our finishing this week well. So uh, I hope things are going well for you and uh, that you're taking some time uh, to enjoy the unfolding of spring. And of course, summer's not being far away either. OK, I think I'll keep it simple for this last one and say simply thank you very much uh, for uh, bearing with me this semester as we've had some major challenges, but opportunities also. And I hope that. Uh, you found them both to be valuable to you. My uh, last point would be my ultimate uh, criterion for a good course 
is one where a student comes back at least two years after the course is finished and says that was a useful course. So I hope to hear from you two years from now and uh, get some affirmation of that hope. So have a good uh, end of semester, have a good summer. I will be back in the Augusta area uh, May 15th or so. Uh, expect to be around most of the summer uh, and uh, look forward to seeing some of you in other classes. So thanks again.